I wanted to talk about human hibernation and how a person can live forever. Now there's two different forms of hibernation. There's deep sleep hibernation where a person sleeps in a pod in space. Like what happened in the alien movies with Sigourney Weaver. Where she's sleeping in this pod and traveling through space for years. When a person travels through space, they don't age because of the gravity in space. And this is the one of the ways that a person could can literally live forever. Another form of hibernation is cryonics, when a person is frozen after their after their death and they can be revived later on down the line. There's a woman on YouTube that was dying of brain cancer a year ago. And she had her body frozen. The woman's name was Kim Swosey. Now, Kim Swosey did videos on YouTube talking about her brain cancer. And she was trying to raise money to get the procedure done to have her body frozen. And her whole goal is to have her body frozen until they can find a cure for her brain cancer. Now whether it's 50 years from now or 100 years from now, when they find a cure for brain cancer, they're going to revive her body and bring her back to life. Now some people say this is far-fetched. Some people don't believe that technology will be able to do this, but nobody knows what the future has to hold. Nobody knows how advanced technology is going to be from now, 50 years from now, or 100 years from now. Now some people want to live forever. And there's some people that accept their death when it happens. Now Ken Swosey was only 23 years old. This was a young woman that had her whole future ahead of her and she gets this disease and loses her life. So I don't blame her for doing what she did. She seems like a, a nice young lady. I'm going to show some videos of her in this video so you can see exactly why she did what she did. I've always been fascinated with science because anything is possible with science. 50 years ago, they never knew we would have cell phones and electric cars and hybrid cars. The more the years go on, the more advanced technology we'll get. 50 years ago, everything was done by hand. Now everything is done by machines. And they mostly have people working the machines. So there's no telling how advanced technology will get a hundred years from now. A hundred years from now they're probably going to have flying cars and everything is going to be ran by artificial intelligence. They're probably going to have cyborgs running everything. So there's no telling how advanced technology will get. Now as far as human hibernation for me, if I was dying of a disease, I would get this procedure done. I would much rather be preserved and possibly brought back to life rather than just be put in the ground and rotten forever. It makes more sense for me to preserve myself and possibly be brought back to life than to die and never be brought back forever. So leave a comment telling me whether you would get this procedure done or not. There's some people that believe when it's time for them to die, that everything is meant for a reason, that it's their time to go, and they're happy with dying when it's their time to go. But when you have a woman like this woman, who was only 23 years old, and she lost her life at such a young age, I can't blame her for wanting to have a chance to live longer. Now when you're 80 years old and you've lived a full life, 
you can die with a smile on your face because there's nothing else for you to live you you had kids you had a, a successful marriage you raised your kids there's nothing else to live for when you get 80 and 90 years old but when you're dying of a, of a disease when you're only 23 years old this is a person that had her whole life ahead of her that's why I can't really blame her for wanting to live longer to want to experience what a full life is really about so leave me a comment telling me whether you would get this procedure done or not I'm going to show the video clip leave a comment rate and subscribe I just kind of think, I think of it as the last, the last thing I can possibly do to give myself another chance. A 23-year-old cancer patient from Baldwin has only a few months left to live, and she says she will do whatever it takes to get another shot at life, even if it means freezing her body after she dies, with the hope that one day she can be revived. Her story is as sad as it is unusual, but we learn she's not alone. People across the country are turning to technology thinking they can live longer. Hi guys, it's Kim. I An upbeat 23-year-old, an Kim Swozy uses a video diary to share her story. We learn about her friends, her loved ones. His name is Josh. I've been dating him for about four and a half years. As well as her terminal illness. Like it or not, I'm probably going to die soon from brain cancer. She has stage four brain cancer. Doctors say Swozy has a few months to live, maybe more, maybe less. This is how it works. In her final days, Swozy leans on others for support. But even with her body already beginning to shut down. Um, I shuffle when I walk and I can't, I can't really use this arm at all. Swozy says her life is far from over. As strange as this may look, she has arranged for this to happen to her body in the moments following her death. It's part of a process known as cryopreservation. What we're trying to do is give people a chance to live longer. The Cryonics Institute in Michigan preserves and stores bodies with the hope that one day they can be revived. Cryonics patients are people like me, like my family, who believe that they want to live longer lives, whether as in some cases their lives are tragically cut short or in others they're cut short by old age. No person has yet been frozen and revived. Of course, this depends on future technology. The patient, as soon as they die, they're placed in the portable ice bath. The Institute stores more than 100 humans and 90 pets. They are kept at a precise liquid nitrogen temperature. And your body would essentially be frozen, preserved? Yes. For how long? Who, how, until they figure something out. I mean, it, I mean, it could be forever. It could be... It could be five weeks. It could be 50 years. It could be... To a lot of people, that sounds... One, like a long shot, and two, just bizarre. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I understand that. And I, I, I mean, it's, I just kind of think, I think of it as the last, the last thing I can possibly do to give myself another chance. The options are either I die and nothing happens, likely, um, or I come back and things are weird, probably, but I mean, I'm, I'm alive again. Swozy knows those chances of being revived are next to nothing. But in her eyes, she has nothing to lose, not even financially. She turned to the internet to raise funds to cover the cost to transport her body to the Institute and have it stored. Within a matter of weeks, she met her goal, raising more than $45,000. Total shock to me that people that hardly even know me are considering donating something. For Swozy, even a slim shot of being reunited with loved ones is worth it. Once you have the option of living again, it really, you would if you could, right? Whatever the case, it brings new meaning to life after death. Well, not including transportation, the cost to cryopreserve a body is a one-time $28,000 fee. Kim Swozy currently lives in Columbia, Missouri.